Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here it is. Um, relationships Q&A on Reddit would like to know. Enjoying sex with chubby girls more than with others and got shamed for it. I'm athletic, built, tall man, and as in title, I got shamed for in my face friend pack for the fact that I enjoy dating, flirting, and having sex only with chubby BBW girls. What's the reason for that attitude? Okay, I have got a rant. I have got a righteous rant bubbling up inside of me on this topic of chubby chasers. But before I unleash that, what what are your thoughts on the chubby chasers, Danen? Sorry about this quick interruption. I've got an important call to action for you. Please go watch this video and subscribe to Limitless Mindset over on one of the alt tech platforms, Rumble or Odyssey. And that is where you can catch my latest videos along with browsing my entire library of content and videos and podcasts. Over 700 pieces of edifying content about biohacking, nootropics, smart drugs, anti aging, life hacking, about my pragmatic, full spectrum, anti-fragility philosophy. If you value health freedom, I urge you to get outside of your digital comfort zone just a little and vote for the kind of future you want with your attention. Join and use the pro free speech social media platforms. I have the links below this video to where you can connect with me on those platforms. I do pay more attention to the comments that I get on those. Please don't procrastinate any further in taking back your freedom and your privacy from big tech. Don't even pause this video. Just pick one of the alt tech platforms. I think that Odyssey is the best. It's kind it's a lot like YouTube. It's as good as YouTube as a video platform, but there's no annoying ads interrupting the videos. So just pick one of those. Again, I've got them linked below and join it in another tab or window while we get back to what you clicked on. Okay, so there's there's the two kinds and one kind is perfectly fine in my book and the other kind is a bit of a question mark. Uh, it, it, it's a bit more insidious. I don't think he's the second type though. The first kind just enjoys them a little bit heavier and that's perfectly fine. It's it's a preference like any other. Um, the other kind I've seen um, and I've actually seen people who have done this where they get with somebody who isn't particularly heavy and then they, they kind of fatten them up to make them fit their preferences. Um, and that's that's a bit more insidious, in my opinion. Um, but as long as it's the first type, which it, it sounds like it is, then um, I would say to mostly just ignore your friends and just continue living your life. Um, people are going to judge you no matter what you do. So um, it's better to just uh, accept that their judgments are going to happen regardless of their reasons for it, which aren't necessarily going to be good, and continue living your life as you live it. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Sure, sure. So in my, throughout my entire 20s, and then through much of my 30s, so for like 15 years, I have had a, a really wide social circle of young people who were doing a lot of dating and a lot of hooking up. So for... I, for several years in Denver, I had this career as a nightclub promoter. And I and then after I was a nightclub promoter, I had a marketing firm in Denver. And so I had this huge, I had this giant social network 
of young people that were like dating and hooking up. And then I became a digital nomad and I went to go and live in Colombia. And then I went to go and live in Germany and live all in different places around Europe. And I was a single guy. And so I had in all these different places, I had this wide, pretty wide social network of young people that were like dating and hooking up. So I have attained this statistically significant life experience of observational life experience of young people that are dating and hooking up. And based upon that, I have a very strong, I have very strong views on chubby chasers. I, and this is it, is the guys who are hooking up with the chubbier women, they are almost always, with very, very few exceptions, they are hooking up with the chubbies because it's easier. Because they do not, because women who are uh, healthier, who are in better shape, are more challenging to hook up with. And the women who are chubby are those women, they may not admit it, but they are aware that they are less desirable than a woman that has a normal, healthy, uh, healthy body. And the the chubbier women are are not all of them, but there is a there is a group of uh, what is what do the psychologists call it? Social sexual social sexual chubby women. There is this group of very promiscuous chubby social sexual women and the guys that are hooking up with them i i don't really buy the their line that they're saying oh this is just a preference i i just have a it's just my odd little preference um in my experience and talking i've talked with uh far too many youngish men in my life that that told me oh yeah i'm hooking up with so and so and I was like, I was like, you're, uh, you mean Trish, the big girl? You're hooking up with her? And the guy will always say something like, yeah, man, but it's so easy. It's so easy. Uh, I, I don't got to take her out. I don't got to, like, they're, they, I think the vast majority of the men doing the chubby chasing and the majority of the women that they are hooking up with are they're doing it because they do not want to put in the valiant effort to earn the attention of more desirable kind of women. So I really I I really actually look down on this quite a bit and the so this guy's question to answer this guy's question a little bit is he's saying my friends are shaming me over over the pack. My friends are razzing me over my preferences. And hey, you know, why are they doing that? And and this is the thing. This guy's friends and friends like him, men like him, are trying to do him a big favor. They're trying to do him a really big favor. And this is why, okay, is this guy is chubby chasing. And he says he's, he's athletic. He's a good looking guy. He's tall. He's an attractive kind of guy. And so the chubby women are, are probably sleeping with him on like the first date, or if you even want to call it a date. And what this is what happens um, in relationships is you st you you have a relationship and you start having sex early on early on in the relationship, which is most young people think that's kind of what they want. Most young dudes kind of think like, oh yeah, like I want I want to conquer a woman sexually like after the first or second date. But there's a there's a big problem with this because even as a man, even as a man, you have this oxytocin bonding that occurs. You have this oxytocin inebriation that occurs where you'll have sex with someone because not because you particularly are interested in her, but just because it's a sexual opportunity and you don't want to you don't want to turn it down. You'll have sex with someone who's kind of below your standards, which is what these chubby chasers are doing. And 
then you'll have sex with her again because uh, sex feels good. She likes sex. Uh, it, should, it, it feels good to her too, I'm sure. And But as you are having sex repeatedly, your oxytocin levels around this person are going to rise. And then your oxytocin is going to start to interfere with your good decision-making. And so if a man is thinking rationally about his selection of woman, he's going to be thinking like, okay, so... If I were to bring, if I were to bring her to the company party, what's going to happen? Like, like, let's say you're a man who's trying to get ahead in your career and you've got your company party coming up and you're, and you, you want to show your boss that you're like a winner, right? You, you cannot bring your chubby girlfriend to that company party because your boss, if he's a man, who has a bit of common sense, which he probably, if he's a man running a company, he probably does, let's be honest. The, and that's just one example. If you, if, so these men who are getting into relationships with chubbies, they are going to become inebriated by the oxytocin from the sex. And then they are going to start to treat it like a more serious kind of relationship. And they're going to do this backwards justification in their mind where they say, oh, she actually has a pretty good personality. So I'm just going to overlook the fact that she's going to have all of these dire health issues for the rest of her life, likely. And she's going to have issues with fertility in the near future. He starts backwards justifying and overlooking all of those kinds <clears throat> of issues. And then the, and then what this does is this sets up a toxic relationship where they are going to have this resentment building up long-term in the relationship. And then the relationship is, if it's not a growth relationship where they're both doing personal development in personal development together and try to encourage each other to be healthy together, they're they're pretty much doomed to failure. And so what it actually, people think that the chubby chasers are kind of like, they're kind of like helping the chubbier women. Like, oh, these poor chubbier women, they're ignored by society. They don't have good self-esteem because because people look down on them. So, you know, hey, good thing we have these, these guys out there that are willing to date them and help their self-esteem. But those guys are, are screwing these women long-term, literally and met metaphorically, because what they do is they, is, is they set up these women to be abandoned and have a failed relationship that's going to fail in like three, four, five years when they are in even worse health. And so the the guy's friends that are trying to talk him out of the chubby chasing, they are they're not going to articulate all this as well as I just did, but they're trying to do him, they're trying to do him a favor. And so yeah, I would just urge guys, even don't fool yourself into thinking that you've got a fetish for this or that this is a preference. This is just a thing where you're trying to get laid a lot easier. And if you go through the personal development, which is going to make you a man deserving of sex from a more attractive and desirable woman, that is going to be worth it. That's going to have long-term prospects. This this chubby chasing is just a big waste of time. So so don't don't do it, guys, and and do some fasting, ladies. Go ahead, Dinan. What do you think? Um <clears throat> So I kind of took him for his uh, at his word in terms of what his uh, mental state was. But assuming for a second that you're right about your read on this guy, which I'll defer to your opinion on because you've got a lot more experience in this uh, in this world. Um, I would also mention that since it's a, a bit of a numbers game and the kinds of people that you spend the most time with hooking up with are also going to be the people that you end up in a relationship with in the long term, because most people um, at some point or another come to the point where they want to have a long-term relationship with um, usually one person. And so if you're already engaged in these uh, these short-term relationships with exclusively chubby women, then you'll probably end up in a long-term relationship with one, um, like Jonathan said. And the problem with that is if you are an athletic thin guy and her lifestyle doesn't line up 
with your lifestyle that caused you to be a um, athletic guy and it's a long-term relationship then there's always going to be some inherent tension in the relationship especially when you consider if it genuinely is something you want to keep her at that level of of chubbiness then it will be very difficult for you to maintain your fit athletic healthy state and it's also kind of messed up to encourage somebody to not be as healthy as they could be. Um, and then if it's um, that you just found her easier and you're hoping to fix her up as you go and get her to be on a healthy level. Unrealistic. She, it's unrealistic. Uh, you should always seek out the relationship that the person is already moving in the direction you want to be moving um, as a man and or as a woman. And then you guys are moving in that direction already and you can be mutual supports to each other as you go down that journey together. Um, you don't want to be going for somebody whose lifestyle is radically opposed to yours and whose um, values are different from yours. And so that's a very important consideration to um, think about as well. Um, the people in your life, especially your romantic relationships, can have a profound effect on you as a person. And so it's important to choose the right one that will push you to be the kind of person that you want to be. So those are my additional thoughts. Facts, bro. 100%. Okay, so those are our seven questions. It was our pleasure to answer those for you all. I am Jonathan with Limitless Mindset, looking to a looking forward to a continued conversation with everyone.